The Clinical Trial Centre is involved in coordinating trials nationally and internationally and we've had 15 projects either completed or underway or planned in the last 20 years. Randomised trials are extremely important because they give the best evidence possible for improving outcome for preterm babies and for all patients. We'll focus on four current trials and the need for a new generation of mega trials. Alpha stands for Advancing Large Collectively Prioritised Simple Trials of Health Outcomes Assessment Worldwide. And the aim is to get people together all over the world in partnerships, networks of networks if you like, so that we can start to get much, much larger trials. Instead of a few hundred, several thousand. And the ultimate aim is to recruit ten times as many patients in ten times as fast at one-tenth the cost by embedding these trials in routine care. In order to try and, and resolve uncertainties in the care of sick newborn babies, we need to be able to recruit very large numbers of babies to clinical studies which are very carefully designed to answer questions. And that means collaboration. And that's uh, why the Alpha Collaboration has been formed. We can go directly from patient to electronic record and trial database. That means it's possible to immensely shorten the period of time that it takes to actually record and analyze the information. And that, of course, reduces not only the time, but the costs of doing studies. We published an overview of trials of delayed cord clamping in 2,834 preterm babies, with over 1,500 in the Australian placental transfusion study. The reason for the publication of the systematic review was because with the release of the APTS trial results, we wanted to put this in the context of all the information that was out there about these interventions. We found that the effect of delayed cord clamping for at least 30 seconds um, compared to early con cord clamping um, less than 30 seconds reduced infant mortality by 32% um, overall. We hope to achieve much better evidence than there is at the moment. It took us more than 10 years to plan and complete the Australian placental transfusion study. And if we'd had the answer to that trial even three years earlier, then thousands of babies around the world could have been saved. Cerebral palsy is the most common physical disability of childhood. So our study, the GAME trial, is a study of early intervention in cerebral palsy. It's a randomized controlled trial. It will be the largest study of early intervention in babies at high risk of cerebral palsy ever conducted. These children have a whole lifetime ahead of them. We spend such a lot of money on the last years of someone's life. But now is the time to get together worldwide in an evidence-based collaboration to improve the outcomes for children everywhere. Um, so Franklin's nearly one years old now. He's a very cute, smiley, um, generally happy little boy. He loves lions um, and he's dealt with a lot of challenges so far in his life. He's been unlucky with his condition but at the same time he's very, very lucky to live in this period of history. We wanted to make sure that Franklin was getting the, the best treatment available um, and we know that that's that medical research trials are the way that that treatment sort of developed and he gets exposed to the best experts. I strongly support the Alpha collaboration. This will be a first for babies and their families around the world. Nectarising enterocolitis is a, a very serious inflammatory condition that affects the bowel of mainly premature babies, but also some term babies and babies with other conditions. So the WEAT trial uh, stands for withholding enteral feeds around transfusion, um, and it really is looking at just that. So it's looking at the practice of stopping milk feeds in preterm babies before, during and after they receive a blood transfusion. To do that we need really large clinical trials that can detect relatively small effects in each trial but together they'll be able to really improve the care of babies and the Alpha Collaboration will give us an ability to do that across neonatal care. This enrolled nearly 1800 parents in three countries. Training parents to be part of the clinical team was safe and linked with improved infant weight gain, breastfeeding, parental anxiety and stress and parents helped lead this study. So Miracle Babies was invited to be part of the FICARE project. 
parents, but the role that Miracle Babies took not only was um, in the help of the trial, but actually on the ground supporting families through it. One of the things that's always inspired me is what's happened in acute lymphoblastic leukaemia in children. When I was a medical student many decades ago, 90% of these children would die within a year. But they've had trial after trial embedded in routine care in that specialty. And now, 90% of those children are cured. And there is no reason why we can't do that in every specialty in paediatrics, and in fact, all around the world, in every adult specialty as well, if we can collaborate together with international partnerships. And that's the ultimate aim of the Alpha Collaboration. Hello, my name's Ian Chalmers. I'm really delighted to hear about this global movement to try and make random treatment allocation a part of normal clinical practice. So I really uh, welcome this new initiative called the Alpha Collaboration and wish it great success in looking after the interests of babies and their families.